Hi, I'm Mara. And I'm Chris. And you're watching Lax Life, Munchies with Mara. I'm so excited because Halloween is right around the corner, and that means more Halloween Munchies with Mara. And today we're making a no-bake spiderweb cheesecake. A what? No-bake spiderweb cheesecake. No-bake? So I don't need to be here for the baking. No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I'll be back for the taste test. All right. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. See you later. Go ahead. The reason why we're making a no-bake My Juice of Mara today is because a lot of kids aren't allowed to use the oven when their parents aren't around. My friend Caitlin isn't allowed to either, and she wanted me to make a no-bake My Juice of Mara. The ingredients we're going to need are chocolate graham crackers or wafers, heavy whipping cream, salt, sugar, lemon juice, butter, chocolate chips, and cream cheese. First, we're going to melt one and a half sticks of butter. You can do this on the stove, or for you kids, you can do it in the microwave. Yep, our butter looks like it's melted now. So we'll move on to step two. Now we're going to crush four and a half cups of graham crackers, chocolate graham crackers, with a rolling pin. But first, let's put them in th this Ziploc bag to stop them from making a mess. Now here's the fun part. pieces for our cheesecake crust. Looks good to me. Now we're going to make the crust and we're going to mix together our wafers, sugar, salt, and our butter. Four and a half cups of the wafers. Oh, and I thought I wasn't gonna have enough, but I think I will just have the perfect amount. Next we add a fourth cup and two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt. And then we'd add all the butter that we melted. Now we're going to whisk it all together. To make our crust, we're going to take our graham cracker mixture and put it into a springform pan. We're going to put this in the pan and just, then we're going to have to refrigerate it to let it chill for us for a little bit. I'm just going to press this all down. You've got to really press this into the sides and the bottom too. Now we're going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to add the filling. Now that we put our crust in the refrigerator, we're going to heat up a half cup of heavy cream on the stove. We're going to bring our heavy cream to a simmer on the stove at medium-low heat. Now we're going to make the ganache. A ganache is sort of like a chocolate sauce, and it's going to hold in our crust for the cheesecake and also provide the spiderweb design on top. We're going to do this by using four ounces of chocolate chips, or chopped chocolate if you'd like. We're going to put it in our food processor. We're going to mix together our heavy cream and our chocolate chips in a food processor. Our ganache looks good. We are taking two tablespoons of our chocolate ganache and saving it for decoration. The rest of it is going to go on the crust to hold it together. We're spreading around this chocolate ganache to make sure that it holds the crust together. This looks so Halloween-y. Now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator again to let the ganache set. Now we're almost done and we're going to make the cream cheese mixture using sugar, salt, lemon juice, cream cheese. And we're going to mix it in this bowl, and then we're going to add it to our crust. We're going to need 32 ounces of cream cheese. One and a half cups of sugar. We added a fourth teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of lemon juice. Now we need to mix it all together. Now that this is mixed up, we're going to add whipped cream. We're going to add a fourth of our whipped cream into our cheesecake mixture, and then we can add the rest. Now we're going to add the rest of our whipped cream into the cheesecake mixture, that we're going to whisk. Now that our cheesecake mixture is all mixed, we're going to put it into our crust. Now that our cheesecake is nice and smooth, we're going to cover it and put it in the freezer for at least an hour, but overnight if you can. 
So we took our cheesesteak out of the freezer and it's looking pretty good. So it's time to decorate. We took the ganache from before and we put it in a plastic bag, but you can do a piping bag if you can. And we're just going to squeeze this down to the bottom where we put a hole. And hopefully it's going to make a nice design. I'm just making circles and then later we're going to draw a knife through it to hopefully make a spider web look. So we're taking our knife and we're drawing outwards. Looks pretty good. So you just drag your knife through and then it creates this nice web effect. And if you want, you can put on some plastic spiders to make it look more realistic. Now we're going to take our cheesecake out of the springform pan. Just gonna pull the back. And lift. <gasps> it worked! Oh, look at it. It is our spiderweb cheesecake. I'm so happy that this worked out. I was genuinely a little nervous because it didn't look like it was gonna work out, but it turned out magnificent. And really, I recommend this dish to anyone who wants to try it. That looks absolutely scrumptious, Mark. Thank you. You did an excellent job. Do a little tasting now. It's good. And it tastes like a cheesecake. The crust is awesome. Yeah. High five. Mm -hmm. Well done. I thought this was delicious. Came out really good. So anyone who likes an easy Halloween dish, this is perfect for you. This is Laxite. Thanks for watching.